we got today, man? We we've we've got a what? What's what's this? What's in the box? What's, am I going to be able to get into this box and unbox it, or are you going to claim it? What are we doing? Anyway, at some point, I'm going to try and unbox the new Fractal X Load. We'll be right back. All right, now that I've finally got the box of myself, it's a pretty meaty kind of package. Nice sort of weight. We've got some graphics. We've got some sticky tape. A big thank you to Andrew at Independent Music for getting this out to me. Came out really quick after I ordered it, so that's pretty awesome. And it arrived in one piece, which is the most important thing. So, again, cheers to Independent Music for that. Anyway, let's open this up. I don't know what the um, best method for doing this is, but I'm going to use scissors because it's all I had lying around today. To get the sticky tape off. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying. These are really good scissors. Did I, I just cut the box? Why did I do that? Great. Uh, what else do I have to cut to get this open? I'm very excited to open this, as you can probably tell. I will mention as well that Xload sounds like uh, the sort of website you probably shouldn't visit at work. So that's a joke, right? Anyway. Here we go. Let's unbox the Fractal X-Load. Very nice. There's my receipt. Good packaging, guys. I like it. Uh, that is pretty, pretty hefty, I must say. So let's pull it out. We can uh, discard this. And we can discard this. This is the most uneventful unboxing ever. Look at it. Oh, it's awesome. This is the sort of thing you want sitting on top of your amp. I think it's aesthetically very pleasing. There it is. Look at that. Brand new Fractal X-Load. I'll give you a close-up of some of the features, but uh, there is a DI level. There is this awesome voicing switch. This is the thing I'm most excited to try out. Uh, so you can go between a UK or a US style voicing. That's a very solid switch too. And then on the back, we've got our amp in. So this only works with 8 ohm loads, and then there's a speaker through. I probably won't have to use that, so I might actually tape over it because we've got the unbalanced out here, then there's a balance output, a ground lift, and a power input. Now the thing that I'm really excited to check out about this is that if you're not using the balance output, if you're just using the unbalanced out, which I'm probably going to do and send it to my AX8, to use as an IR loader, then you don't need an external power source. And that, to me, just is going to make my life so much easier. It's one fewer thing to plug in, and I don't have to worry about phantom power. It's just a workflow thing for me. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Anyway, some close-ups, and then uh, we'll, we'll test it out with a few of these amps. All right, so I've got this hooked up. I've got my Soldano Hot Rod 50 Plus running into the X load, and then I'm taking the unbalanced out into my UAD Apollo, and I'm running Fractal Audio's Cab Lab, which is an impulse response loader. So it's very important to note that the X load doesn't provide any sort of speaker simulation, meaning that all it does is supply the load, and then you would use an external impulse response loader. You could use something like the AX8 or the Axe FX2, or in this case, I've got Cab Lab. I'm running an impulse by Justin York, and I'd just like to say thanks to Justin for suggesting me to get Cab Lab because it's improved my workflow so much when it comes to making presets and mixing impulses and to Matt from Fractal for hooking me up there. So, how does this sound? I've got the gain at two on the overdrive channel, and I'm running an impulse, as I said, by Justin York. Sounds like this. <laughs> Immediately, it strikes me how nicely this responds to picking dynamics. If I play really softly... Or I don't play soft at all... And if I had a bit more gain... Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is really great because I've got the Soldano volume at about seven. If I was using a cabinet, this would be like listening to a jumbo jet. It's a very, very loud amp. So being able to crank it to the sweet spot and then I'm not playing very loudly at all. And as you can hear, there's almost no background noise from the amp, which is awesome. And the x isn't adding any noise as well. Purely running passive. So I don't know what sort of magic fractal are using to get that to work passively, but it's pretty awesome. The last little feature I want to try out, I haven't even tried it yet, is this voicing switch. At the moment, I've got it on UK. I'll just flick around between UK and US and we'll uh, see if we can tell the difference. I'm going to turn the gain back down a bit. That's pretty cool. It sounds like the UK has a little bit more low end and a little bit more of a sort of like smoother top end, whereas the US voicing is a little raunchier. And I guess if you're using an American amp, for example, you're using an old Fender or something, and you want to run it with like some impulses of some eminences or some JBLs or something like that, sending it to the US switch will be a little bit more authentic. And if you're using like a Marshall style amp, uh, which I've got sitting right over here, and you put on the UK setting, I guess that would be a little bit more authentic. Let's see the Marshall. That sounds pretty great. It's awesome getting to just turn the volume up to 10 on that amp. I really never get to do that. And it's sort of keeping all the dynamics and all the usual speaker compression stuff happening, which is very exciting. I know a lot of you will be asking, how does it compare to you know certain other competitor load boxes? So I'll try and do a demo next week when I've had a little bit more time with this guy and I can get a bit of a chance to compare it. Dial it in, find the sweet spot and uh, give you my opinion. Until then, Fractal X load, check it out. Pretty excited to try this out. Uh, I'm digging it already. It sounds like my amps. My amps sound like my amps. They should sound like my amps when I'm running it like this. See you guys soon.